Well, you have a bonus chart, actually, today. <laughs> uh, and there's been a lot of talk uh, in recent weeks about Hunter Biden and how was he trying to raise money off of his father's name and influence. And we should, again, note um, that Hunter Biden never worked in the White House. You know who did? Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner worked in the White House. And you've got a chart there that details the sources of his money. I'll let you explain it. But it should be noted here that Kushner also, his background in real estate, not exactly as a hedge fund uh, magnate uh, or a peace broker in the Middle East. So you're right, Jonathan. Uh, Jared Kushner did work in the White House. He worked very hard. It's becoming a little less clear what he actually worked hard at, because after he left the White House, he went out and raised $3.1 billion, that's billion with a B, for a private equity fund. And as you pointed out, he's not a private equity guy. He's a real estate guy. So where did this money come from? Some of it we know from filing. Some of it we know from press reports. What we know for a fact is he raised the $3.1 billion. What we also know for a fact is that only about $30 million of it actually came from investors in the United States. All the rest of it is foreign money. And of that foreign money, $2 billion of it came from the Saudis. And not only did it come from the Saudis, but the Public Investment Fund, which is the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund, from which this money came, the board of it voted against giving the money to Jared, and they were overruled by MBS who said, give him the $2 billion. I've been in this business 40 mm. years. I have never seen someone get $2 billion out of $3 billion, get two-thirds of their money from a single investor. Usually a single investor might be a few percent of the fund, might be 5%, occasionally 10%. Never seen this. Another $200 million, uh, we believe, came from Qatar. Another $200 million, we believe, came from the UAE. And then the $625 million that came from foreign investors that we don't even know who they are. So what was Jared Kushner doing in the White House? And by the way, as a fun fact, on January 6th, the famous January 6th, Jared Kushner was in the Middle East. Steve, I heard from a prominent Middle East investor a couple weeks ago that there's not much out there on how Jared has actually been able to execute his funding. He's got all this money, but like, you and Jonathan said his background is not in private equity, and I've seen only one news report of a small European investment. He's sitting on all this money. Are the Saudis investing with him just to hedge their bets politically in case Trump comes back into office? At least those are uh, your words, not mine, but it's certainly uh, a reasonable speculation. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of him do a lot with this money. He has hired some people. I do know that. Uh, I think you mentioned to me during the break that you'd seen one investment that I hadn't even seen. I've seen uh, nothing else about what he's actually done with the money. It is normal to invest this money over a period of several years, so I don't think we can draw a firm conclusion yet. But again, we're going back to a guy who's a real estate guy and frankly not a particularly good one at that, who suddenly got $3 billion trying to do private equity deals, <laughs> competing against people who've been in the business a long time. And I wouldn't, if I were the Saudis, count on making a lot of money from this anytime soon. So, Steve, we want to, as a last question, look at the graph there in that really little tiny sliver at the top, <laughs> which is just 1%, 1% of the money raised is from United States investors. Just based on uh, your experience, how unusual is that? Uh, it's extraordinary, Jonathan. I've also never seen that as well. Uh, all of us in the private equity business obviously go outside the U.S. for money. The Middle Eastern sovereign wealth funds have a lot of money. Many private equity funds get money from them. But again, it might be 10, 20 percent, maybe 30 percent of a total fund. I've never seen it be 99 percent of a fund like this. Uh, U.S. private equity firms still raise the vast bulk of their money from U.S. investors. This is un extraordinary, unprecedented. I've never seen anything like it. You know, just as a Steve final Ratner, thank you. Go ahead, Elise. I was going to say, as a final point, in the in the education charts, the most equitable category was making money. You didn't necessarily have to be from uh, an Ivy League. And then uh. in this, you look at where American investors are going. Hmm. Yeah. Not to Jared Kushner's yeah. fund. That is a lot to think about, Steve. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for bringing that all to light. And